think that people, when they go to a restaurant, they want to get more for their money. They want to feel that they're entertained at the same time. And people are entertained by the fashion industry. We know that. It was nice to be asked to be involved in something. It's something that I'm in the industry that I know about and that I'm still working. And then obviously there's not such a restaurant anywhere in the world, a restaurant that is entirely dedicated to fashion. It's a first. It's all kinds of different things, from uh, perfume to um, jewelry, also dresses that were worn by actresses. We have a big screen also there where you will be seeing the fashion shows and the news thing in fashion. The menu is American food with an Italian twist to it, so it's really for everybody. We all have a menu recipe of our own that we put on there, and I put fish and chips coming from London. I gave actually out a little um, pancake from Germany, so you can give it a try. <laughs> Earl's spicy shrimp on the barbie. Very Australian. It's inexpensive. You could, like, get value for money. If you can have a restaurant for uh, movie stars, if you can have a restaurant for rock and rollers, why not have a restaurant for fashion stars? I think that the Fashion Cafe is fantastic, simply because it means that the modeling business is expanding, and that women are making more money. Probably the end of fashion as we know it. No. It's just archaeology. But the problem is, it's not about rubies, it's all tin. Well, I mean, the decor is great, has a great sense of style, uh, and uh, it's magical. Can I say that?